Yo, what is up, guys? Surgical Golden here, and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, actually a new letter episode, guys. And as you guys can see right now, I'm at 5,437 trophies, so I'm actually really close to Master of 3, which is 5,500 trophies. So I actually try to get it like Master of 3 League. I'll try to go above, like into like over 5,500 trophies to get to the Master of 3 League. Actually, using Logbait, I'll try to get it using Logbait. Last time I did a letter episode, I actually used Knight instead of the Valkyrie, but in my opinion, Valkyrie is just too OP, like in the current meta. You guys know it, so in my opinion, Valkyrie is just better. Um, like I noticed it like Knight of course is also really good but just Valkyrie is like yeah so strong like in defense offense doesn't even matter just Valkyrie is better than Knight right now in my opinion so that's why I'm using it like this actually completely max except for the princess so actually a really solid deck so I would say let's hop into the first match guys definitely a little bit nervous just because on later like you never know what kind of deck you face and of course I want to try to get to the master three that would definitely be awesome but let's see what kind of matchup we get and let's see if we're able to beat it but let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck so we started with Goblin Barrel, Rocket, Tesla, Princess. Next card is a Valkyrie. So I'll just start off with the Goblin Barrel towards the left side. Let's see what he has to respond to it. Uh, looks like he has bets. So bets could mean like a Mortar deck. Looks like, um, I think this Giant Three Musketeers. So this is definitely a tricky matchup just because, I mean, he doesn't have anything to take than our Princess. So we definitely need to get a lot of value out of our Princess. Same for the Valkyrie. But we do need to watch out for his main heart just because we don't have um, like a Fireball, Poison, whatever. We only have a Rocket. So let's see what he will drop. He will maybe go with his muskies. Looks like he will go with his giant. So this is a good example of uh, like he will actually go like from the back. And then he will probably split through my steer. So I do need to watch out with Valkyrie. Like also the way like how he um, like cycle my cards. Because now he will actually be able to hit like the musketeers from far with um, like the Valkyrie. So like that. So really well playing his part. So let's see if we're able to win this guys. Let's actually go with a princess over here. Um, let's then go with a Goblin Gang and let's try to just go with Ice Spirit over here and then maybe hopefully be able to uh, not take too much damage. So let's go with Valkyrie right now. Looks like only one Giant hit and I think only one Musketeer hit. So pretty good for us, but we do need to watch out with Elixir because he might actually go with... Um, yeah, there you go. There's already a Breath of M and then he will probably go with a Main Horde as well. So let's see what he drops. Um... I'll actually try to keep my princess alive. This way he's forced to spend, for example, a goblin gang or for example uh bets or something. Looks like he wastes or not waste, but uses his bets so uh to take down our princess. That's pretty good for us. So it looks like he will again go with a collector. We have rocket in cycle for that. So I'll just always rocket his collector, just because of course I don't want him to get an elixir advantage, uh like in his matchup, especially. So let's see, guys. We have princess, goblin gang, Tesla, uh goblin barrel. So since he doesn't have a look, I definitely want something to tank for my uh goblin barrel, maybe like an ice spirit or something, but looks like he again goes with his giant in the back so i would just set up a tesla right now i kind of want to defend and then when i defend i will try to yeah maybe go with a counter attack so let's go with a princess right now let's uh see what he drops looks like he goes with his uh three musketeers so i'll just go with a look over here actually i will send my barrel to the tower to try to get some cheap damage let's actually go with a valkyrie right now let's see if we're able to kill his muskies looks like the princess um will like stay out of range but unfortunately the muskies actually are one hp so we do need to watch out right now let's actually go with a goblin barrel right here and the princess actually also died to the bed so he was able to get a lot of damage guys he's also able to protect his elixir collector so we definitely need to watch out right now let's actually go with um a valkyrie over here let's actually go with a princess because he might go with mean horde let's go with ice spirit let's go with goblin gang uh, let's go with a barrel to this like tower and let's see what he drops looks like he waste or not waste but use his giant so let's see guys let's try to protect our princess with um with a valkyrie we actually managed to cycle three princes on the field so that's pretty good for us and let's see what he drops he might go with three musketeers yeah there you go there are the three musketeers so let's actually go with a lock offensive um Trying to take it down. I actually dropped my princess too high. That was actually a mistake on my part. I thought the princess would actually uh, be out of range. But it looks like he will go with a collector. So I'll actually go with my goblin gang. I'll go with my valkyrie. And then I will go with a goblin barrel. And knowing that he uh, has goblin gang. I'll actually go with a prediction lock. So the prediction does pay off. Looks like we did hit the goblin gang. The valkyrie is still taking guys. Goblins are still there. And I think this is a good game. Just because we have the rocket. And it might even take the tower. No. 272 HP. So the rocket will be able to take it down. And I think his mistake there was pumping up. So we were able to punish that elix collector. Let's give him a good game let's give him a well played and let's give him a thumbs up so it looks like we beat this guy for 31 trophies that's actually really nice so let's see how far we are so uh, only 32 trophies away i do think that's two more matches just because i don't think in one match we will get 32 but you never know maybe we're lucky but let's see guys let's open to the second match let's see what kind of match we get and let's see what uh like we can do against it so it looks like we're facing Kacha, actually from a team liquid clan uh, i'm not sure i think this Venus is a wheeling clan but i'm not sure let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck 
So we start off with Tesla, we have Lock, Rocket, Valkyrie, next card is the Princess, so kind of an awkward starting hand, but looks like he gives us a good Rocket on the Musketeer, 6 for 4, even though it's a negative Elixir trade for us, it's definitely worth it, just because we uh, uh, like we get 628 um, damage on the right side tower, which of course is nice, so looks like he has Mega Mean as well, so I'm guessing this is a giant deck, like a giant, maybe even triple spells deck. So looks like he also has the Ice Spirit, and I'm definitely expecting uh, a Giant right now. So looks like he does go with a Giant. I'll actually try to lock his Giant so the like my tower targets onto the Mega Minion. So let's see, guys. Let's actually go with a Valkyrie right here, trying to tank for his Mini P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully, we'll actually be able to uh, take it down. But luckily, the uh, tower actually targeted onto the Mini P.E.K.K.A. So that was pretty good defense there. I think the lock was definitely key there, just because I said, like, it pushed away the Giant, just so the tower can actually lock onto the Mega Minion. If not, the Giant will be tanking, and it's pretty hard for us to defend the Mega Minion, actually. So let's see, let's go with Ice Spirit just to tank for that uh, Musketeer and then also freeze it. I think it will only get one hit. So let's see what he has, like a spell. I'll actually go with a Princess Offensive. This way he's forced to go with, for example, a Mega Minion, uh, like 3 for 3 Of course, we still need to respond to it, but we do get some chip damage. And in Lockbait, it's all about the chip damage just because, um, like, you have the Rocket. And if you bring it, like, close enough to Rocket Range or even double Rocket Range, you can just Spell Cycle. So it looks like he does have Lock or uh, Zep. I think that he also has Lock. I will go with the Lock. No, I actually missed the Ice Spirit. Really bad play. So it looks like he has Arrow, Zep, and I'm guessing he has a Fireball. Um, so I guess that's better just because this way he spends 3 on my uh, 3 Elixir Goblin Barrel. So let's see, guys. Let's actually pressure with Valkyrie. Let's actually go with Goblin Gang. He will probably defend this with a Fireball. Um, no, looks like he will actually go with a Mini Pack. Interesting decision. Maybe he doesn't have Fireball, but I think he does have it. I'm not sure, though. So let's go with a Tesla right now. We're kind of forced to go with maybe a, um, a Princess to the side. No, definitely go with a Princess over here and then go with a Freeze. Um, and then go with a Valkyrie just because the Mega Minion like, is actually... Or the Musketeer with the help of the Giant and Arrows as well. We're able to take down the... Um, the Goblin Barrel, so right now he used the Arrows, which is good for us, so we can actually go with a Goblin Barrel Offensive. Let's see if he will use the Zap, or as I said, like, maybe as a Fireball. Looks like he will just Zap it away, so we do get a, a little bit of chip damage. I'll actually set up my Tesla and then Princess, this way, if he responds to it, like, with a Mini P.E.K.K.A., Tesla will already get value, as you guys can see, like, perfect example, he actually drops his Mega Minion. So Tesla will already get a lot of value, guys. Let's actually go with um, Valkyrie over here, let's then go with a Goblin Barrel, and let's actually also go with a Goblin Gang. Uh, looks like he goes with his Arrows, so... While playing his part, and I think I might go with a rocket here to hit his uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. and Musketeer. Maybe something else as well. No, looks like that's it, but that's still good value. I mean, 6 for 8, so that's pretty good. Looks like he tried to predict our princess with a giant. Let's actually still go... Excuse me, let's still go with a princess. Uh, so he's forced to respond to it. Let's actually go with a Valkyrie over here. Looks like he does go with his mini pack as well, so I'll actually go with my um, Tesla. I will go with Goblin Gang to the side. Let's see if we're able to counter this push. Looks like he does... Um, Go with a second giant, and I think this is a good game, guys, just because we don't have anything to stop this. We do have a Valkyrie over here, so we might be able to uh, do something. We have a Tesla. I don't think so. I mean, he will probably just go with a Zep. Let's actually go with um, Tesla. Let's go with a Fireball. Too retarded, but looks like he is able to bring it into Zep range. So actually, really well played on his part. Let's give him the good game. Let's give him the well played, and let's give him a thumbs up. So unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, defend it over there. I think my Princess might have been a mistake, like putting it offensive. I just tried to get some chip damage. Wasn't sure if it would actually target the Giant, even if I drop it all the way to the right side. But he played that really well. Definitely well played on his part. So that does put us away 60 trophies from 5.5. Uh, and of course, as I said, like, our goal for today's episode is get to that 5.5 to the Master 3 League. So let's see, uh, let's see if we're able to win this matchup. Should be able to get a lot of trophies from this guy and then the next one um like the next match i should say should be able to put us into master 3 but let's see let's go with valkyrie let's go with goblin gang let's throw a goblin barrel to his collector let's see what he drops to respond to it looks like he has a lumberjack lumberjack could mean a uh, golem deck but look at the goblins guys uh spear goblins are still there valkyrie still there step goblins actually killed the collector and now going for the tower so a lot of chip damage actually on the left side brings down the tower to 2374 hp I'll just go with the Ice Spirit here for the Mega Minion. So I said, I think this is Golem. Um, not sure if he has Zep or Lock. I guess if he had Lock, he would have used it already. But maybe he didn't have any cycle. You never know, of course. So let's cycle with the Prince in the back, guys. Let's see what he drops. Um, I said, like, maybe he has a Golem. Like, already looks like he goes with a Baby Dragon. I don't want to rocket this. I mean, I kind of was tempted to rocket it. But he will probably just go with his uh, Collector afterwards. So I'll actually go with... Uh, Valkyrie Goblin Gang, like, to pressure. I actually take some damage on the right side, especially because we already delved so much. So, it looks like he actually decides to take the damage. Um, pretty smart on his, uh, like, his, like, pretty smart decision, I should say. Just because he, like, took 7 Elixir. He did spend 2 Elixir, and we actually got a lot of damage there. But let's actually go with a Tesla. I think this Tesla should pull. Uh, like, the Golem, I mean. 
So let's see guys, he has a Night Witch coming, he does also have a Lumberjack, so we uh, do need to watch out. And I think this Tesla should, no, this Tesla didn't pull, oh yes it does. Uh, wow, I was so scared there. Let's go with the Princess, let's go with Valkyrie for the Lumberjack. Actually the Lumberjack will be able to kill the um, Valkyrie, so also needed help of the Princess. But I think he will actually take the tower here, just because we don't have anything right now guys. Let's go with the Goblin Gang to the side. He will probably go with a Zap, I'm not sure if he has it. Uh, looks like he actually goes with a Tornado, so he will be able to definitely take the tower, just because the Mega Man is still there with so much HP. Uh, maybe I should have gone with a de defensive Tesla, but I think this fine um, tower for tower, tower for tower. But as said, like pretty smart decision on his part, just because we already dealt so much damage to his tower, like on the left side. So let's see. Let's actually cycle with a look for the um, like on the king tower. Definitely want to go for the king tower now, just because we dealt more damage there. Let's go with Valkyrie. Let's go with Goblin Gang. Let's then go with a barrel to his um, like king tower actually. Let's see if we're able to get some damage here. Let's actually lock his... Wow, I missed the tower, but let's lock his Lumberjack. And we are able to get a little bit of chip damage, but nothing too special. And he is able to get an Elixir Collector, like, protect it. So we do need to watch out. He will probably go with a Mega Man. No, looks like he will go with a Golem. So I'll actually try to be really aggressive here, guys. Trying to force him to not be able to support his push at all. So he goes with a Mega Man. I'll actually go with um, Spear Goblins there. I will have the Goblin Barrel, but looks like he actually tornadoes it away. So while playing his part, I'll actually go with a Tesla up high right now. And we definitely need to watch out for his um, Lumberjack behind this push. So let's see. Let's actually go with a defensive rocket right now. Trying to hit and the Lumberjack and the Golem. So that was a really good rocket on our part. Just because with the Golem, we hit the 4 Elixir Lumberjack. And we hit the 4 Elixir Baby Dragon. So definitely a really good Golem. And that was a really good defense, guys. We only take a little bit of damage from the Golemites. Let's see. Let's go with um, Ice Spirit. Let's actually go with a Goblin Barrel. And let's just go with Valkyrie Goblin Gang in the middle. Even though he did already have the Mega Man there, I think it's worth it. So the Step Goblins are still alive. Valkyrie's actually tanking. We are able to get a little bit of chip damage. We still have a Princess. Let's go with a second Princess right now. And let's see what we can do, guys. Let's go with a Ice Spirit over here, trying to uh, like keep alive this Princess. Let's go with a Goblin Barrel. And again, I will do the same. I will go with Valkyrie in the middle to tank. Then I will go with a Goblin Gang to follow it up, like to try to get chip damage. Looks like he goes with his Night Witch. So we are able to put it into... I think, no, I'm not sure. There's definitely not two rockets. So he might go with a column in the middle, actually. So I'm thinking what to do. I think I'll just go with another, like, Goblin Barrel. Yeah, there you go. He spent 8 Elixir. I think this is a good game, guys. Let's go with a Goblin Barrel. Let's go with Valkyrie. Uh, he does have Nado, so he will actually Nado away the Valkyrie. But look at the Goblins. Goblins are actually able to take down the Ryzen Tower. So that was actually really nice, guys. We definitely had matchup there just because he didn't have any, like, lock or something. Like, he did have a Tornado. But let's give him a good game. Let's give him the plate And let's give him a thumbs up. So definitely Wobblade in his part. As I said, we got a lot of trophies from this guy. So right now we only need 27 more trophies to be able to get to the Master 3 League. So hopefully in this match we will get it, guys. We started off the episode with a win then unfortunately lost then right now a win and hopefully right now as said we will be able to get into the master um three league so i think from this guy we should be able to get enough trophies hopefully we get enough trophies that would actually be a shame if we need like one more trophy or something of course i will try to get it as said like my goal for today's episode is try to get to the master three league so no matter what i'll try to get it so let's start off with the prince in the back, guys. Looks like he has a Mega Man, so hopefully not again, like a giant triple spell deck. Let's throw a Goblin Barrel to the left side. Let's see what he has. So looks like he has a Baby Dragon. So I guess this is another um, Golem. I'll just let the Mega Man take the Princess. I'm not too worried about that. Let's go with the Goblin Gang in the back. Uh, looks like he has a um, Hawk Rider. So let's actually go with Valkyrie to tank. Ice Spirit as well. Wasn't really needed to go with my uh, Tesla. Looks like he did like also use the Lightning. So interesting deck. He has Lightning, uh, Mega Man, um, Baby Dragon. Then also Hawk Rider. So let's see guys, we were able to get quite a lot of chip damage to the left side, especially with the Goblin Barrel. Spear Goblin will get one hit, which is always nice, of course. Uh, as I said before, like every damage here matters. So let's see if we're able to get some chip damage here. Looks like he puts a witch in the back. So a really, really good rocket over here. Uh, six for five, actually. So that's really good. I'll actually take some damage on the right side. We already took a lot of damage on the left side. So I'm not too worried about him like getting some split damage. He only gets one hit from that. So definitely not worth it spending three elixir, for example. So let's see guys, I kind of want to get some uh, like split lane, uh, like double lane pressure. So let's actually go with the Goblin Gang Valkyrie on this side. And let's then go with uh, Goblin Barrel Ice Spirit on this side. We do need to save up for the Tesla because he has Hawk Rider. Looks like he also has a uh, Valkyrie and he has Lock while he has um, Hawk Rider, Baby Dragon, Valkyrie, Lock, Lightning. So definitely a really hard matchup guys. Let's go with the Princess here. If he goes with the Hawk Rider, we have three elixir for the Goblin Gang. If not, I would just save up for the Tesla. We do need to watch out with the chip damage from the Baby Dragon. That's actually getting a lot of chip damage. Brings down the tower, the right side tower, like our right side tower. Brings down the tower to 2520 HP. So it looks like again he goes with a Witch. This time I will not throw the rocket just because uh, we aren't going for the tower. So let's see. Let's actually set up a Tesla over here. He might go with a Lightning. So we do need to watch out with that. But Tesla should be able to get a lot of value. Let's actually save up for the Valkyrie. So let's go with the Valkyrie right now. 
Um, so I don't think he has login cycle. Maybe he cycle back to it, but I'm not sure. Let's see if he has. Let's actually maybe switch lanes. No, I don't think we should. Uh, wow, I actually should have been able to get a really good rocket on the left side. Not sure why I didn't throw the rocket there. But let's see, guys. Let's play the Goblin Gang in the back. Let's go with Princess to the side. He will actually go with a really strong uh, push. Let's actually go with Rocket Defensive, trying to kill and the Valkyrie and the um, Hawk Rider. So that was actually able to get a lot of value there. He does have Lock and Cycle, so I would throw the Goblin Barrel a little bit further just because he might miss the lock this way. Looks like he actually goes with his uh, Valkyrie. So the Goblins are still able to connect just because he dropped the Valkyrie in front of the tower instead of behind it. Um, so I think we might be able to just spell cycle him at this moment we definitely need to watch out for his hog lightning push though he will definitely go with yeah he already went with lightning so let's uh let's see let's go with a valkyrie to tank um let's just try to spell cycle right now at this moment so let's actually set up another tesla he did use the lightning so that's good for us he won't be able to break through like with the lightning so let's actually go with a look over here guys let's go with the goblin gang to the side to try to take down the witch also distract the mega man he does go with a prediction look but it didn't pay off just because it didn't hit it the mega man is tanking so we do need to watch out but we just need one more card for the rocket i'll just go with the ice spirit to the side we still have a lot of hp on our left tower so the rocket will be able to take down the left tower the question right now is is it enough to get into the master free league i think it is but i'm not sure uh we get 28 trophies and i'm pretty sure this is enough to get into the master 3 league so let's see there guys have it a one trophy above 5500 there you go master 3 league so that's actually awesome guys let me know in the comment section down below if i should continue pushing later if you guys are enjoying this type of episodes actually pretty successful three wins one loss so we are able to get into the master 3 league using this lockway deck hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to smack the like button if not subscribe to the channel feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos bye guys